Good afternoon everyone. Welcome to my channel. This is Marilyn. So I have a project share for you. I did something different today and it is Christmas themed and I'm sure that you can see it in the screen right now. Um, I watched a, a, a video this morning from Crafty Michelle. That's the name of her channel. And she is involved in a no buy November no spend collaboration. And this week they were to either make bag toppers or bags. And she showed her bags, which they were absolutely lovely. And she did a small little tutorial. It was real easy to put together. And so I decided to hop on the bandwagon and make some bags because I have Christmas things that are going to be going out. And so I'll start with this one. This is my, I used the Sweetest Christmas by Mente. And I got this felt flower and holly leaf at Dollar Tree and I just put some bling on it. I didn't have any pink and white polka dot ribbon so I used some red. But you know, you, there's lots of red accents in it. And then on the side, I put this little gingerbread guy. He's just a foamy glitter sticker, and I put some bling on him. He's got little heart buttons going down. And this is a little girl because she's got pink frosting on her. <laughs> and then on the back, I just put these uh, string lights. And I may add more to it, but for right now, this is what I have. And it's so, so easy to make these. All you need are two pieces of... Um, 12 by, or yeah, 11, 11 and a half by 11 and a half or 12 by 12 paper. And on one side, you're going to score two and a half inches. On the other opposite side, you're going to score two and a half inches. And then if you have pattern paper, you're going to want to decide which side is your bottom. And on the bottom side, you're going to score two and a half inches. You don't do anything with the top. Then you you get the little corners at the bottom and you're going to miter the edges and um and you can see her tutorial i i don't know how to edit yet so um i don't know how to show you how to do it but um it's super super easy then on the second piece you're going to do the same thing two and a half on one side two and a half on the other side and then determine your bottom side two and a half on that you're going to score all the way around and then the little squares that are left at the bottom on the two ends you're going to cut those out and then all you do is just glue it together it's so so easy so I would check out her channel Crafty Michelle she's she's a wonderful creator oh my goodness she is so she's an artist she really is so that's my first bag. My second bag is this one. And this came out of the Nutcracker Ballet paper pad that I got from Michaels. It was one of the Hot Buy paper pads. And then this round die came um, from Alina Cuddle. And so did the Snowflake die. And the inner part. All of it is from Alina Cuddle, actually. And I just layered them up. I did white cardstock on this kind of minty green and white uh, glittered cardstock. It looks like snow coming down. Then I cut out her snowflake die, the round one, and popped the center in. This is the center. And then I cut out a bigger circle with the outer edge of the one that has a little church in it. And I put that on. And I love Alina Crafts dies. She has some really nice dies, and she's gotten so many beautiful Christmas ones in. So I put that on there, and that's all I've done so far to this bag. I gave it handles. <laughs> and then my last bag that I made is this one, and this came out of the Sugar and Sparkle Hot Buy paper pad, and it says Making Spirits Bright, and since it was gold and pink, that's what I decorated it in. I put gold bling on the front and the back. I put a couple gold poinsettias that I got from the Dollar Tree. And then this is a rose that I got from Wild Orchid Crafts. And I just put some diamond dust on it. Put a little bell on the handle. I made some wired handle ribbon or wired handles. And yeah, that's how it looks. And I really love how it turned out. 
So, um, like I say, check out Crafty Michelle's channel because it's she explains it better than I do, and she actually shows you how to do it. Um, but um, I just want to thank you all for stopping by. If you like what you see, hit the like button and um, hit the bell. Or if you haven't subscribed, please do and hit the bell if you want notifications when I bring new things up. You guys have a wonderful day today. And you have a wonderful day today. Sorry, my, hus my husband came in. <laughs> Apologies. You know, things like that happen. All right, you guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.